With all the talk of lunar eclipses and supermoons, what better time for 13 ABC's James Starks to visit the Ritter Planetarium on the campus of the University of Toledo. Here's this week's finds in the 419. Teen, it's James here again with another episode of Finds in the 419. I'm on UT's campus here at a place I've been dying to go to since I was a kid, the Ritter Planetarium. This place has always fascinated me. Now, I want to bring in my buddy Michael here to kind of talk to us a little bit about just some of the amazing things. Let's, let's just say it's 10-year-old James right now, yeah, and yeah. I'm walking through the doors. What will I see? So, you know, we get you inside the dome, um, and you get some nice music going. Um, we bring the lights down. We bring the stars out. We show constellations. We show the planets that you can see. Um, and then we'll have a, a program maybe on black holes or we'll talk about the space program or earthquakes or just any particular program that we have going that day. Now, what kind of programs do you guys have going right now? So right now we have programs on Friday evenings at 7.30 and it's the, the current program is Capcom Go. It's a program about the moon missions. And then on Saturday afternoons we have children's programs and this particular one is about how Pluto got demoted from, from planets. It's the daytime right now, so obviously the optimal time is at night, but in the daytime We've got the observatory upstairs. Let's go, let's go check that out. Sounds great. Well, we made our way upstairs to the observatory. You know, at night you can watch the planets, see the moon and stars. But today, during midday, we're going to take a look at the sun. I'm going to pass the microphone to Mike here as I get a qu quick look here at the sun. Mike, Mike now what exactly am I looking at? So uh, you're actually looking at the surface of the sun. Now, it's important never look at the sun with your naked eye because you could damage your eye. And so we have a very special filter on the top of the telescope that cuts out 99.9% .9 of the light. So when you look through the eyepiece, you should see a, a sort of a yellow surface. Mm -hmm. And then you will see some little black dots on there. Those are called sunspots. They are regions on the sun that are slightly cooler than the rest of the sun. And so to your eye, they look black. It's not that there is no heat there. It's still many thousands of degrees. It's just not quite as hot as the rest of the sun, which looks very yellow to you. Well, obviously the moral of the story is don't look at the sun with your naked eye. You want to have one of these cool machines that they have here at the Ritter Planetarium and the Brooks Observatory. Big thank you to Mike for showing me some awesome things. Be sure to, you know, schedule your birthday party, private parties, all types of events that you can have here at the Planetarium. Of course, see some really cool things in the meantime. That wraps it up for another episode of Finds in the 419. I feel like that was James's like childhood dream, as he said. That yeah. was just like his, uh, you know, field trip for the day. We're going to nickname him Stargazer. How about that? Original. <laughs> Love it. Love it. All right. Stargazer Starks, though. Yes, yeah, Stargazer Starks. There we go. <laughs>